Well, on the contrary, we also knew that healthy diet and stress-free lifestyles are key to maintaining good health. But it looks like we can now give even more weight to what you eat makes you what you are. Our Kim Ji Young reports. It's been common knowledge that relieving stress and eating nutrition rich foods are crucial to maintaining a healthy life. Now, it's scientifically proven that they're particularly important in the increase of protein levels and cell components. A group of Korean scientists says they've identified an important function of autophagy, a mechanism of cell components. The discovery could help slow aging or even find a cure for diseases with hereditary elements such as Alzheimer's. Autophagy, which signifies self and eating, is a process essential for maintaining physical viability, even in conditions of nutrient starvation, protein aggregation, and viral or bacterial attacks by dissembling cellular components. In other words, autophagy is the body's natural way to detoxify itself. Thus, its deficiency leads to the occurrence of degenerative brain diseases, cancers, autoimmune diseases, and aging. While previous studies have focused on the autophagy in a cell cytoplasm, the Seoul National University Group's research is an upgraded version, which was directed toward observing the mechanism in the nucleus to corroborate the link between the state of autophagy and hereditary traits, including diseases. The discovery was published in the internationally renowned Nature Science Journal earlier this week. We just try to think differently or think innovative ways because people think the autophagy is really well-known process in the cytoplasm, but we have been working on epigenetics, epigenetic regulatory mechanism in the nucleus, so we suspect probably epigenetic regulation of autophagy is also crucial for understanding autophagy. The study examined the protein levels of an enzyme in groups of normal mice and those lacking the enzyme after glucose starvation and found that the latter group had lower levels of autophagy. Although the professor was cautious in projecting the next step for therapeutic development, she offered identifying autophagy as a great way to develop agents to cure cancer and neurological diseases in the near future. Kim Jeon, Arirang News.